Today I will explain a little bit about sound waves. We look at this question, which of these statements about sound waves is not correct? So please remember, they are asking which is not correct. Sound waves can be refracted. Yes, it is correct. Sound waves can be transverse. No, we know that it is longitudinal. Sound waves can be diffracted and sound waves transmit energy. So the answer is B here. Then the next important thing is we need to know how to show the sound waves in a form of sound trays or like how is it represented in the oscilloscope. I will show you two important things. First one is a sound wave when we are measuring by using the oscilloscope this x axis is showing the time and the y axis is showing the amplitude by using voltage. Okay now in this part we have y direction one square is showing only one volt so that means one tiny square here is showing one volt how much is the amplitude let's figure out you can see amplitude is only two squares from the undisturbed position so that two squares multiplied by one volt is equals to two volts and the second one, we can get the idea about what is the frequency of this sound wave. First of all, we need to find out how much time is measured by one square or how much time given by one square. So you can see here it is given one square gives 0 0.01 second. So that means this tiny square to the x axis represents 0 0.01 second. And next very important thing is we need to find out how much or how many squares are taken by one of these cycles. So I will show you what is one cycle. So I'm going to start from this point. So if I start from that point, it goes up and it goes down and comes back to the undisturbed position again. So this is what we are calling one complete cycle. So if you check the time taken for one complete cycle, yes, you know the period time. This is capital T, the period time. And you can use the equation by using F equals 1 over T. So F equals 1 over T. Capital T here will be 2 into 0. 0, 1 second so that will give you the answer fifty hertz there's another way that you can do this same thing Now in this one you can see there are three complete cycles so these are the number of cycles you can use the other equation for frequency which is frequency equals frequency equals number of cycles divided by time now, if you look at this example, you can see there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 6 squares taken. So that number of cycles is 3 divided by 6 into 0 0.01. This also gives the same frequency, which is 50 hertz. Thank you for watching the video. If you like it, Please press the like button and also the bell icon.